G'day guys, alright, I just did the whole video then realised up here had my name, address, date of birth, so <laughs> let's start again on this. Um, got the results, basically um, what this hair analysis shows, right, is just what is coming out of my body. So it doesn't really show the level that's in the body, it just shows you what your body is trying to, to cleanse itself of through the hair, okay? So... As expected, the um, chemtrail mixture is quite prominent. We've got barium is absolutely through the roof. We've got strontium is quite high. We've got um, lithium is in there, quite low. But again, all this shows is that it's in my body. It doesn't show how much is in there. It just shows what my body is getting rid of, okay? So once I start the targeted detox process, which starts today, um, you'll see that all these levels, see he's drawn a line there, he'll say your strontium will probably go up to there once you start detoxing it. Because as I said, this just shows the level that's coming out of my body. So, you know, on this side, everything's very low. So you think, oh no, that's good then, that's very low. But like I said, this isn't the reading. This is just what my body is basically expelling from itself. So, once the target of detox happens, all of these should come right up here to show that it's actually leaving my body better because at the moment it just shows it's in my body and only small amounts are coming out. And that could mean that my levels are through the roof, but my body's just not expelling it that well. So it's important to understand how to interpret these. Um, barium's just phenomenal, you know. I said to him, you know, how can my barium be that high? And he said, basically, the only way your barium could be that high is if it's in everything that you're eating, everything that you're consuming. Um, you know, he said it doesn't occur naturally in high levels anywhere. So, you know, at the end of it, we both pretty much agreed that it's got to be the stratospheric aerosol injection program um, that's got these barium levels so extremely high. So... Excuse me while I have a sip. This, um, what we'll expect to see with the targeted cleanse is that all of these will actually rise quite significantly as my body starts getting rid of more of it. Now we've also got down on this side here, so it says here, overt or hidden copper overload. So you can see my copper is absolutely through the roof and if that carries on that that will result in um what's called wilson disease um so i haven't drunk out of the copper pipes like i don't drink the tap water for a couple of years now so this just shows you what a lifetime of drinking out the copper taps will do and how it stays in your body it's not just that the gmo food um to stop the pests from eating it, they infuse or splice into the DNA of the plant copper sulfate. Now, what you have to understand here is that when you splice something into the DNA of the plant and you make it part of the plant, it means as that plant grows, it will produce copper. It will actually produce it like it's part of it. It's part of its DNA. You wonder why when you go to Coles or Woolworths, you never see any piece of fruit, no apples, no pears, Nothing has even got a little dot on it or a mark that anything has eaten it. So what does this tell you when the pests won't eat the GMO food? It must be poison. Okay, so now that I'm on mostly organic sort of fruit and veg and um, I'm not drinking out the tap water and I'm going to target a detox this, we should see this number decrease. Now... Iodine's another interesting one here. The iodine level, um, you know, I asked him, I said, other people who test, does their iodine come up to the, to the recommended sort of minimum safe bar? I said, has everyone sort of got that sort of iodine? He reckons, no, everyone has got bugger all iodine on theirs. So that tells me that the nascent iodine I'm taking is working. Plus I must be getting maybe some iodine um, I use um, the iodized um, sea salt Himalayan fucking 47 mineral sea salt also um, or the organic fruit and veg um, should have some iodine traces in it too so I can up that a bit more I'm going to start taking a couple of extra drops of iodine a day 
Um, but the main things for targeting these things and getting them out of the system is zinc, is magnesium, and calcium. That, that is what will help. There's other things too he's given me, I've got written down there. Um, and I'll upload more on this with the stuff I'm taking and all the rest of it. So basically, um, once I, you know, and you look at it and you go, oh, but the magnesium's in the good zone, so that's all right. The zinc's in the good zone, so that's all right. Um, but really it's not because having these things in my body, which you can see by it coming out of my hair, they are in my body. By having these things in my body, um, at low levels coming out means that I need more of the zinc, the magnesium, the calcium and, and some other minerals. So he's given me a mixture that's got all of those in it plus a couple of other things in it. And um, I've got some zinc tablets there, I'll up the iodine and um, there's a couple of other things he wrote down I'll, I'll, up, I'll update in a further post or I'll leave in comments. Um, but, but, but guys realise that if you start targeted detoxing things in your body without knowing what you're high on, you run a real risk of depleting yourself of other things or causing serious damage. So to, to everyone who's watching this, please don't just start treating your, just don't up your magnesium and your zinc and your calcium straight away because you, you know, everyone's different, everyone's body removes things differently and for all I know, your body might be better at removing these things that mine isn't, but not as good at removing other things. So I'd encourage anyone who's thinking about doing a targeted detox of any type to take the test first so you know what you're targeting, so you're not damaging your body in other ways or depleting yourself of other things. It's really important. So that's where we're at. We're still in the very early stages. Uh, you know, I'll be taking this stuff to detox for, you know, for the next two, three, four years. I mean, it's constantly coming in, so it's, you know, it's, it's nearly a constant trying to get it out type thing. But um, this is where we're at, you know, even my mercury, can, you can see my body is, has a noticeable amount of mercury that it's getting rid of now. Is that all of it as it comes in, or is my mercury level through the roof? but my body's not getting rid of it well, so it's only showing small amounts coming out in my hair. So this is what the, the detox is about. Once I target a detox these things, um, it should start leaving my body and we should see all of these numbers come up. And if they don't, then that's probably a good indicator to show that I might have a very low level of it or I'm coping with getting rid of it as it comes in. So that's where we're at, but as expected, barium fucking absolutely through the roof. Strontium, which he reckons will go right up to there. Um, so yeah, I'll be getting the hair test done again in six months. I'll be taking everything that I need to take um, and we'll see what happens guys. Stay tuned and um, follow the journey. And again, get yourself tested. You know, you can do this too. It, it costs a little bit, but it's, it's sort of a, a steady rollout. You know, you go for your first consult and then, you know, you can, you can wait you can wait a month and then go get the test for 140 bucks you know wait another month start buying a couple of things spend 100 bucks on some stuff that you know 100 bucks a month will get you through this process so i know people go oh, i don't have a spare 100 bucks a month well fucking stop smoking or stop fucking drinking fucking piss every weekend or stop you know fuck me Drive your car a little slower and save 10 bucks a week on petrol. There's many ways that you can cut out a couple of things here and there to, to get this done. So please, I encourage everyone to do it. Uh, the more people we have getting tested and showing their results, the more we can, you know, sort of form a better picture of what's going on here. All right, guys, that's probably long enough for this video. I'll keep updating more as time goes on. Um, take it easy, gang.